Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good evening to each and every one of my brothers and sisters from around the world. I just want to thank you for being here one more evening. And I just want to tell you that I appreciate you stopping by to study the Word of God with us. My name is Dr. PJ from the Prophetic Word. I just want to pray, our Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just want to thank you for each and every one that are here this evening. Father God, bless each and every one with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in your word. Open up their spiritual eyes, their spiritual ears, Father God, whatever they're dealing with, whether it's body, spirit, and soul, send healing, Father God, send prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. And this evening, we are going to be, I'm going to be teaching from the book of Psalm, chapter 12. And with this Psalm, you will see how God feel about what we are experiencing today in our society and how God reject the negativity that is going on and they might think that they're getting away with it and they might think it's okay because let me tell you the majority sometimes is wrong let's go straight to the meat of the word of God Psalm number 12 verse 1 a Psalm of David to the chief musician upon Shinimi Shimming it, a psalm of David. Help, Lord, for the godly man sees it, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said, with our tongue we will prevail, with our lips are our own. Who is the Lord over us? Mm. For the oppression, for the oppression of the poor and for the signing of the needy, now will I arise, saith the Lord, and I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. The words of the Lord are pure and silver tried in a furnace of the earth. Purify seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Amen. And I will break it down to you. What God is saying that he is sick and tired and sick and tired of the wicked. And like when God looked upon the face of this earth, he can't find no godly men. There are only few godly men. He's looking for the faithful among his children. His eyes, the word of God said, his eyes go to and fro, seeking for those who love him, seeking for those who obey him, seeking for those who worship him. But he said that for the godly man sees it. For there are only few godly men among us today. There are only few prophet of God among us today. Many of them are false prophets and false liars. They, they, they prophesy lies. They say God gave them a word when God didn't give them any word. They say God sent them to tell them when God didn't send them to, to say anything to us. So there's only few. But God also is seeing and watching the way oh God's children and all the world is moving. And God say in verse number two that they speak vanity, they speak wickedly, they deal with their neighbors wickedly. And who is your neighbor? Your neighbor is a person sitting, talking next to you wherever you go. Not only the one who lives next door, but your neighbor is your fellow man. Amen. 
So, so they have a double heart towards people. They are racist towards people. They are prejudiced towards people. When they hear an accent, they say, where you from? But with a nasty way, you gonna ask a total stranger where they from. Think about it, in the church. In the church, because judgment begin at the house of the Lord. They manipulate, they reject, they oppress on the job and in the workplace. They are jealous and angry when they see other people, when they see a brown brother, when they see a brown sister, when they see a black sister, when they see somebody who is coming. Even amongst us, the black people, in the family, the light-skinned ones who look like grandmama get the best gifts for Christmas. These things are not supposed to be so. That's what the word of God say. You have arrived. You see, it said the Lord shall cut off all flattering lips. You see the flattering lips moving around all around the world. Flattering lips, every, they flatter themselves. They're boastful. They're pompous. They see did they, they think themselves that they're higher, higher above because they have arrived. But they forgot where they came from. They forgot that they, they, they came from, from food stamps. They didn't have a father in the home. But God's been good to them. Yes, God. He said he rained down blessings upon the just. And the unjust is for everybody. But some people, when they attain, when they arrive, when they get prosperous, they forgot where they come from. So they start looking down on their fellow man. They look down on the poor people. They look down on the other sister. They look down on the other brother. They say, oh, I, I don't like the way he or she dress. I don't like the way I don't want to be around those people. I don't like those type of people. And this is among us. I'm talking about the breadwinner. I'm talking about the children of God. I'm talking about those who call themselves Christians. I say our leaders are hypocritical mockers. Our leaders in the church as failures. I'm talking about the church. Our spiritual guides, our watchmen, our prophet and so-called prophetess, they have failed us. Number one, they did not practice tough love. Number two, they did not speak the truth from the word of God. They have flattering lips. So they're going to tell you with itching ears what you want to hear. They're going to compliment you. They're going to elevate the wicked. But the humble, they will say, get you over there behind this thing and sit down. We need somebody to clean the toilet bowls. Go ahead and volunteer. You see, you, the kingdom of God will not be like that. <laughs> There's no something as a black heaven, a brown heaven, an Asian heaven, a, a Latino heaven. Over there you get, over there you African heaven, or you Caribbean heaven, or you Gichi heaven. Get over there you Gichi people, your Gola Gichi. There will be no such thing because God is no respect of person. Many Christians are on the way to hell today. Many Christians are going to go down spiral to Hades. Hades is translated to hell. And the reason why they're on the way to hell is because they're nasty to their fellow men. That's being boastful and rude and prejudiced to other people because of their national origin. It's because you don't know where they're from. You don't know their mommy and their daddy. You don't know who you're dealing with. Even such more, some of them, is because they are from two different races they feel like they are superior and that they must represent this group or they put down the other group but they both the half and a half so we have to be careful according to this world it say the lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things proud things i I got a house. I got a pool. 
I got five cars. I, I got a good husband. Ah, my children, them are in college. My son, we got a doctorate degree. We this. Because God say in his word, who have said with our tongue we shall prevail? Who have said with our lips are our own? Didn't God made the lips? Didn't God, the creator, own your tongue? Haven't you read your book, the good book called the Bible? How do you know the difference between good and evil? Between darkness and light? Between what is acceptable to God and what is what God will reject from you? See, your teachers have failed you. Because you'd rather believe in the false teacher than with the one who God sent the watchman that will give you correction. See, the prophet is here to save your life. I'm blowing my trumpet because your blood will not be on my hand. On the day of judgment, all leaders, spiritual leaders will be judged. They will be judged because the word of God says, judgment begin at the house of the Lord. You have seen them. They have rape. They pastors and bishops and pro they have rape. They have molested. They have beaten. They killed their wives. They have stolen money from the house of the Lord. But they got flattering tongues. They, 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 they speak proud things. And you listen to them. You believe their lies. Verse 5. For the oppression of the poor. And for the signing of the needed. Now I will arise. Say the Lord. God said he will arise and do something. God said when you oppress your fellow men. When you are prejudiced and racist towards other people. It upset the Lord. When you treat people nasty on your workplace, when you treat people and, 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 and down, put them down because they either overweight or you don't like the way they look, you go around and you say, I don't like her. I don't like those kind of people. I don't want nothing to do with those stuff. But let me tell you, they are here. They are here. And they, they're more going to come here. So I don't know what you're going to do. Because God say he will arise. You see many things that are happening today. When you look around us. It's because of blaspheme. It's because of the way we behave in church. It's because of the way all we did each other. It's the way all we sleep with one, other, one another husband. They will sleep with the deacon. They will sleep with the pastor. They will sleep with the bishop. They are home wreckers. They are liars. They are hypocritical mockers in feast. They gossip. They with their tongue. They pick up the phone. And they talk about it. There was a sister one time in the church. The other sister was talking about her. But she didn't know the other sister was on three way. The one who called her betrayed her. You see you got all of these things going on. But the head. It start with the head. If the first lady is nasty. People gonna know that oh nasty the pastor wife is. But sometimes the pastor wife has to have an attitude. Because of the women. They will destroy the first lady marriage. We have a problem in the community, in the home, in the workplace. We have all of these things then that are happening and falling upon us is because of the way we treat one another. Christians on the job fighting. Christians in the workplace fighting. Christians wherever in the street cutting off each other the car. Disgracing themselves. We supposed to show the example. I'm not saying you must turn your cheek every five minutes and let everybody buffet you. But if you have the Holy Spirit, sometimes you got to bite down on your tongue. I've been mistreated. I've been persecuted because of my addiction. I could have gone and showed out and brew ha ha, but no. I use the word of God. See, the word of God will set everything straight. Rebuke, ban, 
and cast down every wicked word that the witches say to you. People who have demons uh, and they possess act certain way. They talk certain way and they lead certain lifestyle, but they are possessed. See, the heart is desperately wicked. The word of God said, the Lord, the heart is evil. Man's heart is evil and desperately wicked, saith the Lord. But also he said, he will not answer the prayers of a wicked man or woman. It is wickedness. Verse 5, the oppression of the poor and for the signing of the needy, God will arise and sell it in safety. God will stand up for the poor. God will stand up for the oppressed. God will stand up for the outcast. God will stand up for the black sheep. God will uh, 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 stop, uh, stand up for the ones who's been ostracized. All of, the, all of those who've been antagonized in the church. God will stand up for them because you are already. Anybody stand up against you is because they are not a leader. I got a military tone and I'm not going to change my diction to please no double-minded man or woman. They're on their way to hell. Many Christians will wind up in hell today if they don't repent from the evil wicked ways. Repent, I say, repent in the name of Jesus. Repent from your racism. Repent from your prejudice. Repent from all that ism and schism. I don't like this. I don't like that. Repent because the kingdom of God is one a kingdom of God is one you are going to enter into eternity or you are going straight to hell because the nasty attitude that I see from these sisters and brothers they will not enter into the kingdom of God thank you for listening be blessed be encouraged in Jesus mighty name and I defeat you Satan in the name of Jesus I defeat you Satan in the name of Jesus Christ amen my name is Dr. PJ. Thank you for listening and God bless you.